Okay, folks, this is Rennie. I am going to record a screen capture of the problems I'm running into with the GoPro VR plugins as they integrate with Premiere and After Effects. So first off, let me just show you that I've got currently the GoPro Fusion Studio 1.4 beta installed, but I have done this with GoPro Studio Fusion Studio 1.3 and 1.4, and I've installed and reinstalled these things all day yesterday along with the plugins. So I'm going to continue with this one for this example, but know that the same results I've experienced on both of those platforms. All right, so I will set it to 360 when I'm going to export something, and I will set the color to flat. Those are the only two things that I'm really changing about this. I use full stabilization and then flat 360 coloring. When it's in the render queue, after I've added it there, what I've done is I've tried both Cineform and ProRes. Everything else has been the same. This 5.6K resolution is just available with the 1.4 update, but I've tried it in the highest resolution both times, 1.3 and 1.4. So 1.3 was 5.2K, and this 1.4 update of Fusion Studio, I'm using the 5.6. Everything else that you see here has been the same across the board on all my attempts. But Cineform and ProRes have been exported. You can see here, I have a Cineform version and a ProRes version. They both have the same results within Premiere. I've tried many different versions of Premiere 2018 and 2019, all same results. So I have since discarded all the 2018 and I've updated 2019 to the latest as of today. Whatever updates were available from Adobe have been applied to both After Effects 2019 and Premiere 2019. So once I export that, I will go in and create a Premiere project. And while that's loading, Please note that over here, these are the contents of Premiere 2019. So if I go into the GoPro plugins folder, there they are. So they have been installed. And these have been installed along with the Fusion Studio. That will happen when Fusion Studio is installed. But then I've also followed a lot of your documentation online for in the forums that suggest installing the plugins separately after Fusion Studio is installed because older plugins are installed in combination with Fusion Studio. So regardless, when I've used Fusion Studio or when I've installed the plugin separately, we're experiencing the same results. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project. Call it Playing With Stress. That's appropriate considering what we're dealing with here, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go into where I have everything set up. And this is the latest thing that we're trying to do to see if it solves the problem. And by latest, I mean the latest suggestion that you folks have given me, but I actually tried this yesterday following your forums and this did not work. The suggestion that I received today from Camille, which was awesome, was to try to use this OpenCL, which I have done. That gets rid of the error, but it does not allow the plugin to work. So in either case, whether we use the Metal GPU or the OpenCL GPU, the plugins do not affect the video at all. So I'm gonna start with the metal just to show you what happens and then we'll switch over to the OpenCL. And this thing is going to be based on the Cineform version because again, I told you I tried it with both. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it with the lower um, file size just to keep things simple here. But we've tried it in both. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drag it over here and create a timeline. We've got a sequence set up there and I'm going to look for the GoPro VR effects now. The VR effects, and I've only tried this with the VR reframe and the VR horizon, both with the same results, they don't work. So reframe is really what I need to work. It's the most important thing. We have people who are gonna be using our, this kit that we're developing from different components of which hopefully is gonna include the GoPro Fusion. And these folks do not know how to use, they're not software developers and they're not professionals in video editing at all. So this needs to work out of the box for them. So I just dragged that reframe onto the clip. It does show up over here, but notice we have this little error in the bottom right hand corner. And this is the error I'm referring to. This is the screenshot I sent earlier today. A low level exception occurred in AE GoPro VR reframe GPU video fitler colon colon create instance. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that for the moment. But with that error, I can't also change any of these parameters and have any effect in the video here in the program monitor. I'll do that just for demonstration purposes. So if I change it from 50 to say 20, I'm gonna get another error and the video did not change. So these errors all stack up and 
we're unable to see any change in the video. Now I'm going to clear this so that we can try it with the other GPU setting and not, uh, not get confused. Before I switch that, notice though that this red bar here indicates that the video below needs to be rendered before any of the effects can be seen in the program monitor. When we switch to the OpenCL GPU, this red bar will now turn yellow, indicating that we do not have to render this before we can see the effects in the program monitor. So theoretically, anything we do over here should be seen over here instantly. So I'm gonna go do that. Going into File, Project Settings, General, and changing the GPU as you suggested to OpenCL. We do that, and now, the errors are not going to show up, but the plugin is still not going to have any effect. So if I change this back to 50, the errors don't pop up down here in the bottom right hand corner as we had before. But again, like I said, nothing changes here. So let's change other things too. The yaw, change the pitch, change the roll. None of those things I just changed affected this video at all. And if I skip forward, it still didn't update. So it's not that it's just not refreshing, it's not being applied at all. Same exact footage as we had before. This yellow bar, as I was saying though, is showing that theoretically, this does not have to be rendered before we can see the effects of your plugin on the video in the program monitor. And the strange thing about this is that when I first installed Fusion Studio and installed the plugins, with that, the, this actually worked temporarily. And then all of a sudden it stopped working. So I don't know what happened, but it worked for probably about a good, it was slow, but it worked for about maybe 10 minutes. So I don't know if that helps to know, but that is all I've got to share about this. Other than what I said before, we are considering about three or four different pieces of hardware for 360 video in this kit that we're building. And right now, we started with yours because it had the most promise, but we don't have time to debug this, especially because of the, the consumers that are going to be using this kit. As I mentioned earlier, these folks are not developers. These folks are not professional video editors. They need to be able to use this right out of the box without having to go through any of the hoops that we've gone through to figure this out. And we spent all yesterday trying to solve this error and having the GoPro forums users telling us one thing and then GoPro suggesting the exact opposite in many cases. So it's very unclear what's going on and I really hope that we can figure out something today because if not, I'm afraid we're gonna have to move on. There's, I guess, three other pieces of hardware that we need to test and only one of them is gonna be selected for the kit. I really hope it's GoPro because we've had good experience with GoPro on other pieces of hardware like the, the Hero 7, but this Fusion so far, the integration that is the most important with Premiere, because those are the people that we are targeting. If that doesn't work, we just can't use your product. So that's not meant to scare. That's just me being extremely transparent and hopeful that you can help us figure out something today because uh, time is of the essence and that's about all I got. Thank you so much, folks. Thank you, Camille, for helping us out. And thank you guys for considering this video to see if you can you know, solve what the, the problem is on our end or yours.